Sani Heavy Industry Company is a Chinese multinational heavy equipment manufacturing company headquartered in Changsha, Hunan. It is the three RD largest heavy equipment manufacturer in the world and the first in its industry in China. This steel plates will use the to construct high quality excavators capable of operating for over 20,000 hours under the most extreme conditions. This basic raw material is transformed into a state-of-the-art excavator. The plasma cutter starts up. An arc cuts through the 80 mm thick plate of steel using electrically conductive gas. The temperature at the cutting site 30,000 degrees Celsius. The big advantage of the plasma method, the cutting speed is four times faster than with a conventional cutting torch. The cut parts continue on their journey over to the welding shop. This is the central element of the future excavator, the slew rink. This is where the rotating superstructure and the undercarriage connect. This is just the preparatory work. The actual welding operation is performed by the robots. The robots work more precise and also twice as fast than humans. The first step, the slough ring, is placed on the middle section of the undercarriage. Undercarriage the flame at the welding point, 1700 degrees Celsius. The final section of the welding line. The three elements of the undercarriage are joined. Every movement the machines make is electronically recorded. If the robot remains motionless for even a second, the company's control department registers the downtime immediately. The welding of the excavator undercarriage is finished. Now slew rink is ready to be painted. First the surfaces are clean, then the workers mask off the areas that must not be painted. Now comes the most difficult part. Precision work under extreme conditions and 40 degree heat and with a respirator. The most important thing is that the spraying nozzle is always kept perpendicular to the surface and at a distance of 20 to 30 centimeters. The parts are now painted. Transport from one station to the next, seamlessly designed. The four-ton undercarriage must first be turned over. The workers can now install the idlers for the track system. More than 3,000 screws pass through each worker's hands each day in order to manufacture up to 50 new excavators. The time has come for the tracks to be mounted. Wrapped around two large idlers and nine small track rollers. The workers pack the slew ring with grease. This is the junction between the undercarriage and superstructure where the wheels meet the engine and camp. The massive superstructure will soon be mounted on the slew rate. A special adhesive provides for initial grip directly after the two sections made contact. The assembly of the excavator superstructure includes everything, from the installation of the engine and hydraulic pump of the excavator to the installation of the cabin and the connection of the necessary electronics. Assembly of pipelines for engines, pumps and other devices is carried out at nodes. Connections of hydraulic pump and electrical wiring are also processed here. On the upper assembly line, workers perform the process that supplies the core of the excavator. Several dozen black and yellow cabins are waiting to be installed. The workers first install the interior equipment of the cab, install a seat for the excavator operator. Here are several hours of manual work to install and connect equipment, levers and control electronics. The excavator superstructure is moving to the critical station where the superstructure and the slew rink undercarriage will be connected. The trickiest and most dangerous stage of the final assembly lies before, that two production lines are united. The massive superstructure will soon be mounted on the slew rate undercarriage.
the time has come. The so-called marriage can begin. A crane system carries the revolving superstructure, which now weighs 12 tons, 20 meters through the air. The difficulty the superstructure swings back and forth by around 20 centimeters. Workers must maneuver the swinging cab onto the slew rate. The critical moment has arrived. The massive superstructure is still swinging alarmingly. The workers secure the connection, held thus far by the adhesive with bolts. The next big moment of the final assembly is fast approaching. Just a few last operations to perform. Oil and fuel are added to the tanks. Then finally, the excavator can move under its own power for the first time. But the entire front section is still missing. A lifting system with massive arms and flexible hydraulic systems and the excavating bucket. This is where the critical phase of the excavator arm installation begins. The workers now start assembling the complex articulated arm. The final push on the assembly line. Workers fit the prepared arms to the excavators. After not even 23 working hours, this new Sani excavator is nearing completion. Finishing touches, the only thing left now is to attach the bucket to the excavator. It's finished, a new Sony SY 380HD is on the move. The next stop is quality control. Extreme stress tests, strict inspectors, the newly assembled excavators now have to demonstrate what they're capable of. 